So right now I'm getting information that Jaime Munguia is looking to possibly fight in September with his manager promoter, uh, Fernando Beltran, basically saying that uh, Jaime Munguia is, you know, he's recovering after the Canelo fight, which is something that wasn't too difficult for him as far as uh, bouncing back. Um, I feel like he was just more so than anything taking his first loss. Is going to be difficult, but overall, I feel like he's in a great position to uh, flourish and do some things that he needs to do. Um, him break, jumping into the competition and jumping into the mix with Canelo, that's going to help him out more than anything. It's not really going to hurt him overall. I think that's going to do a lot for his career. Um, him, a lot of fans knowing who he is. Him not now being known as a guy who will be willing to jump in the ring with a lot of different guys and not really uh just be too relaxed overall. I feel like he's going to challenge himself. And, you know, he might be one of those boxers who are better after a loss. A lot of guys are a lot better after a loss. A loss doesn't really uh, make or break you in, the, in this time. But with, uh, with some names floating around with Mungia, I'm hearing that it's a possibility that his next fight can be international. I don't know if that's American. It could be Puerto Rico, in my mind. It could be Saudi Arabia. I don't know if he will be the B-side as far as with a Verlanga fight, but he could possibly um, fight a Verlanga in Puerto Rico. I don't know if that's something that he'll be interested in, but, you know, as far as with the money, overall, it could happen. But from what I've seen... Um, Verlanga and Munguia. So, for, so from what I'm hearing, they're talking about him possibly coming back for September. So with the September thing going on, it's gonna make it's gonna be kind of difficult to see what goes on in between these two guys. But as far as Verlanga and Munguia, but uh, I'm also hearing like Caleb Plant's name being floating around. I haven't heard Caleb Plant directly say anything about Munguia. He's more so been saying uh, Berlanga lately, which is just something that he's interested in. You know, it's a big fight. A lot of people would really like to see that fight. Charlo is not available, so Berlanga is somebody who can be in the mix very well. But if it's going to be September, I don't know how, the, how that's going to work out because from what I've heard, Berlanga was going to try to work, wait on the Canelo situation to kind of unfold. But now, if you see everything working out, people aren't really waiting on Canelo anymore or September. There's a lot of things already being made past September. So a lot of those fights get getting made or, you know, the September fights will basically be made in the next couple of weeks. So guys can actually start their eight weeks, 12 weeks, whatever they need to do to get a head start. Most of the camps are eight weeks, but. A lot of these guys need some time ahead to get started and get adjusted to uh, the camp life and putting their uh, body through all that um, just tough, brutal uh, training. It's not going to be easy, especially for a guy like Munguia. This is going to be a mental uh, challenge for him to try to bounce back and defeat a guy like uh, Caleb Plant or Belanga. And there's a lot of other options he can use as well. But we'll see overall what happens uh, best between those guys. But if it's something, any, anything between those guys, we already know that Berlanga and Munguia have been talking about certain fights. So if the Kayla Plant situation doesn't come about between uh, Berlanga and Plant, I can easily see Munguia kind of slipping through and making some things happen. But that's if, if uh, Berlanga doesn't have any kind of idea of Canelo being next. So we don't know. It's a lot of things flowing around. People aren't really trying to wait on Canelo at this point. I feel like the time of that is kind of passing by, especially for this year and next year. But um, that's all I got. Like and subscribe.